This is a case of morning glory syndrome. This name is derived from the morning glory flower. The optic disc is characterized with excavation, central retinal tuft together with radiating blood vessels. The instance of retinal detachment in these cases is about 30%. Our patient is 12 years old female patient which has a complicated posterior subcapsular together with old retinal detachment with subretinal and the aperitinal BVR. After cataract extraction and then polishing the posterior capsule from these remnants and shreds from cortical matter in the posterior capsule. Then IOL implantation and then going posteriorly to see what is present in the posterior bull. As we see, there is a central retinal tuft together with radiating blood vessels and the old retinal detachment. There is an epiretinal BVR and subretinal bands. After doing a corvetrectomy and then fighting this epiretinal BVR and removal of this BVR. It is mandatory in this age to remove every element of BVR. After this staining with skin accord and the removing of the remnants of core vitreous, the insertion on the break, which is common at the site of the optic disc or in the optic disc. In this case, the break is present at the site of the optic disc. Injection of a bubble of peripheral carbon and then doing eye limb peeling for the sake of removal of any BVR and also to occlude this hole, which is present at the edge of the optic disc. The hole can't be lasered because the laser will be done at the edge of the optic disc and this is damaging to the optic disc. So it is mandatory to do eye limb peeling and then inversion of the flap inside this hole like a central macular hole. Then doing vitreous base shaving through a shortening of the retina. So I decided to do 360 retinectomy at the far periphery. It is mandatory to do retinectomy at an area which is free from any tractions or BVR or any vitreous remnants. Then inversion of the retina and the removing of subretinal BVR and the subretinal bands. After removing of this BVR, then increasing the bubble of fluorocarbon decorin until flattening of the far periphery of the retina. The anterior flap of the retina has to be sacrificed. This flap is a source of ischemia and BVR, especially in the children. So removing of this flap is mandatory. Removing of the anterior flap until reaching the cellular body. Then lasering the retina. Laser is done 360 because we are doing retinectomy 360. As we see, the flap is occluding the hole. Then doing a fluid air exchange and flattening of the retina and removing of the peripheral carbon decalin. After this, injection of silicon oil 5000 cent stock. And this is the final view. Postoperatively, this is the colored photo of the patient with the retina flat, and this is the OCT with the macro flat, and the hole is closed. And thank you.